The internet surrounds us. It follows us to our workplace as part of our social life and how we share our personal lives. Our smartphones, tablets, and computers provide us with more access to the internet than ever before. Online, we can pay bills, check social media, watch videos, listen to music, research. So it's no surprise that the average American spends approximately 118 minutes a day on the internet. With this much time spent on the internet, when does functional internet use become addiction? Who is at risk of becoming an internet addict and how much does internet addiction affect one life? Internet addiction is not yet officially recognized as a disorder. It is, however, identified as a behavioral condition known as problematic internet use, also known as PIU. Those suffering from this condition are also known as problematic internet users, PIU apostrophe S. PIU was coined by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders and refers to an individual's inability to control their urge of excessive internet use, which turns leads to feelings of distress and functional impairment of daily activities. PIU is estimated to affect one out of every eight Americans. No single behavior defines a line between PIU and functional internet use. PIU is more appropriately identified by a specific group of unmanageable behaviors, symptoms, and effects. Problematic behaviors of PIU include compulsive internet use, preoccupation with being online, hiding your internet use, and or lying about your internet use. Symptoms of PIU are very similar to symptoms of those suffering from other types of addictions, such as substance abuse or chemical abuse. Symptoms of PIU include feelings of distress when not connected online, restlessness, moodiness, depression, or irritability when attempting to cut down on the use of internet. Adolescents are the most susceptible victims of problematic internet use. The internet has become an indispensable part of adolescent life. According to a report by the Common Sense Media, teens spend almost nine hours a day on the internet. Another study indicated that problematic internet use is more common amongst individuals with certain qualities, such as those who have low self-esteem, who have decreased interpersonal skills, and those who struggle with their social skills. The effects of problematic internet use can last a lifetime. Effects include interferences in relationship with friends, families, and coworkers. Problematic internet users tend to make the internet a priority over friends and family. They prefer online chat rooms over direct conversation and often neglect social relationships. They also choose to make the internet a priority over work and academic responsibilities. They often fail out of school and or lose their jobs. They slowly become withdrawn from normal routines and become consumed in their internet addiction. While the internet is a great way to connect with long lost friends, pay some bills, or do some research, it's important that the internet does not become a replacement for relationships and responsibilities. In the words of Woody Allen, showing up is 80% of life.